good whatever time of day it is i'm sean the rapidly aging hipster and uh funny story from something that happened to me the other week uh about two weeks ago i should say i was uh driving rideshare and i picked up three uh university age young ladies on their way to a football game and um we got to chatting as I was driving them to the stadium, and they noticed I had an accent. It's funny how people with accents are always the last ones to know about it. And uh, just got passed by a Tesla, that's why it was whisper quiet. And uh, yeah, they even noticed I had an accent, asked me where I was from. And I just couldn't resist the temptation. I had to squeeze in a really tasteless joke. So I answered, oh, well, I'm originally from a very small town called please resume speed. And they were like, really, where's that? I go, well, I'll tell you, it's a really small town, I answered back. It's so small, it was named after the only road sign we had. But gosh darn it, we were proud of that road sign. We would polish it and shine it up every single day. And they believed me. I'm not kidding. It's one of the oldest jokes in the books. It's, it's right up there with, don't call me Shirley, or do you have any kids? None that I know of. It's just one of those really, really old jokes that you'd think every single generation would have heard by now. But I, I guess, like, you know, dad jokes have just gotten way too lame. They don't bother saying funny jokes like that anymore. And we don't even get grandpa jokes anymore. So, gosh darn it. You know, as a rapidly aging hipster, I, I say we take a stand. We got to do something about this. We got to start making more groaner jokes. Who's with me? We should start a campaign.